Apple pie. Hello, I'm Jamie. This is Anti Chef. Welcome back. Yes, this is the season finale episode. You want to stick around to the end? I'll tell you all about why. Now, I wasn't going to make a dessert for this last episode, but the world works in mysterious ways. Let me show you. My landlord just gave this to me. It's a big bag of freshly picked apples. Now, what do you do when you're about to film a cooking show and you're just handed something like this? You make apple pie, right? Duh. We'll be making two pies today. I'm seeing my family tomorrow, so one for my family, one for the show. Two pies. It's gonna take roughly 12 apples per pie. Let's get peeling. These things are oxidizing pretty quickly, so let's keep moving. Cut into wedges. So many apples. So many. Whew. Since I'm making two pies, I need two skillets. Add a quarter cup of butter. Once the butter's melted, a cup of sugar. Cook the sugar for a minute. Now I'm gonna add the apples. Splitting it in half. One pan, one pan. Add cinnamon. Also gonna add a little nutmeg. Cook for 10 minutes until the apples have stewed and softened. You can see it's all very liquidy in here. You wanna cook until that syrup is almost dry. Let's put it in a bowl. Both of them. This needs to cool completely. We gotta make the crust. Two cups of flour, one cup of diced butter, a quarter teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of vinegar. Pulse it. Add a cup of cold water. Pulse until a ball starts to form. Form into two discs with your hands. Refrigerate for half an hour. Since I'm making two pies, I need to do that again. Let's take the pie crust out of the fridge. Flour your surface. Rolling the pie crust out into a circle. You roll from the center out. Pie dish. Now I'm gonna do the same thing to the other piece of the dough. I wanna add this teardrop pattern on the top. I'm gonna add the apple filling into the base layer, putting the top piece of the crust on top. I'm gonna crimp the edges with my thumbs, kind of making a pattern, I guess. Top it off with a little bit of egg wash. That's gonna make the crust look golden. Little patchwork with extra crust lying around. Bake on the lowest rack possible for 35 minutes. Mm. 
Now while the other one's in the oven, I'm gonna repeat everything I just did for that second pie. I brought the pie to my family Canadian Thanksgiving dinner. What did everyone think? Let's take a look. Who would like the first one? Oh, is this for you? This is for me, thank you. <laughs> The crust is a bit tough. <laughs> Thoughts, mom? Just a little bit. <laughs> I'm just gonna move on to the brownies. <laughs> What's on everyone's plate over there? Crust. <laughs> you didn't like the crust? Uh, we wanted to. Okay, so let's get to the big news. I'm moving far from this kitchen, far from this city, into a new country altogether. Where to? You'll soon find out. But I'm starting from scratch. It's the type of move where I need to purge all my stuff. That was easy. So you could say this is a giant leap and a big moment in my life. I'm leaving my job, my family, my friends, but this is something I've always wanted to try out and I'm super excited. Now, I'm not doing it alone. Where I'm going, there's someone already waiting for me. For those who have been watching for a while, you may have noticed a certain someone missing from all the episodes. We'll see each other soon. Thanks to everyone who has watched this first season who has recommended recipes, critiqued my skills, or lack thereof. This whole thing has been a huge learning experience. And this isn't the end. Uh, I'll be back, anti-chef abroad. Also be making other videos, not in the kitchen, but out in, in the world. I hope you stick around. But that's it for me. If you liked this episode, give it a big thumbs up. That would be awesome. Subscribe for more Anti-Chef. And why don't you comment down below. Say hello. I'll see you soon. I think I'm gonna miss you the most. Goodbye, strange looking counter. You've been good.